Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar, and for the 2021 Winter Gear Slam, we're here with Mike Dawes from G7 Capos, and we're going to talk about the new Performance Capo, Mike, so thanks for joining us today. Hey, it's a pleasure, man. Nice to see you. It's nice to talk to a human being in uh, 2021. It is, it is. So tell us a little bit about, as people heard heard you uh, play on the, on the intro there, and we're going to be focusing on the on the capo you were using. So tell us a little bit about it. Cool. So, well, G Seventh uh, are a capo company. We say capo over here in the in the UK. Uh, they're based based over here, and I discovered them uh, when I first started the acoustic guitar um, because at the time they'd come out with this new creation, uh, which was the performance capo capo. Now, what makes these capos or capos um, a little bit different to other ones is they came up with this new way of basically clamping the guitar to the neck, right? So one of the earlier versions they came up with was this. This is the Performance Capo, the Performance 2. And the thing that makes it cool is you don't need a screw or a, a, a something that clamps the guitar really hard. The mechanism here actually squeezes as close as you want to the strings. You know, it'll press the strings as delicately or as tightly as you want to the neck, but it locks in. So you can't, you know, you know what I mean? There's no screws or no fiddly things there. Now you can see I'm pushing it in a little bit. There's no sort of um, uh, notches or anything like that. It's not going go, 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 go. It's literally a smooth mechanism that then won't uh, sort of come unstuck, right? Now the advantage of that, which uh, undoes easily by the way, the advantage of that is that it basically represents the human finger in the most sort of accurate way possible for a capo. Um, I toyed around with some other brands and actually since my professional career other brands have approached me and said Hey, here's a really ornate gift box with your name inscribed on it Please play this capo and it just didn't work the same because it didn't act as a human finger in the same way When as anyone who who like uses a capo will know if you just clamp onto the strings without sort of being delicate about it your tuning can go all over the place, you know, it's not a realistic clamp. It doesn't act like a finger this does, um, but today uh, I'd love to talk to you about the newer version, which is the Performance 3 Capo, because they've changed it even more to make it even more accurate to uh, basically help the tuning stability even more. It's uh, it's yeah. pretty cool. It's exciting. It's, it's weird to get excited about a Capo, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not technically the most exciting thing. It's not like a new guitar, but it really kind of is, especially because this one's gold and they put my name on it. So, you know, <laughs> I can remember who I am during lockdown. There you go. And plus, it's one of those things that, yeah, it's a tool, but you just kind of want it to work. You know, you don't want to have to be concerned about it. Well, that point's really interesting, right? So that's why I haven't played any other capos. So I, I don't work for the company. I'm just a guitar player. Um, but because I'm from the UK, I was very aware of these guys early on. They actually got invited to Downing Street, which is like our White House, but way smaller and with a lot less controversy. Um, <laughs> they got invited to the to Downing Street uh, because they won this like design award for that mechanism, right? Mm. So... But, but I've never changed capos because I haven't needed to. It's just worked all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And I exist in a world of weird and wacky alternate tunings where you want to be uh, as quick as possible on stage when you are adjusting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, in between songs, you, you might not have a lot of time to, to change the tuning on the strings. You want the capo change to be as quick as possible. And that's actually something they've, they've thought of even more in the new version, the Performance 3. You can see here, actually, if I just hold them up um, to you, the Performance 2 is a lot thicker and a lot sort of bigger and bulkier. The Performance 3, excuse the, the goldness and my name, you can see it's a much slimmer profile, right? Yeah. And uh, not only is it a slimmer profile, the buttons have changed from a kind of squeeze backwards to open thing to a push forwards to open thing. Now, the reason that that's really cool is if you think about how you release the capo from the guitar, you're coming over the top to grab it. You want to push and release. So that helps with the, the speed as well. And they've actually added something else. I'm just going to keep talking because I've had loads of coffee today and I haven't spoken to a human <laughs> being in months, sir. They added something else to the design, uh, which they call ART, which of course spells art, but it stands for Adaptive Radius Technology. 
maybe there can be an explosion animation or something. I don't know. But what <laughs> they've done there is added. Uh, they've changed how capos. Uh, they've changed the structure of the capo here, at uh, the point that clamps the strings. So you won't be able to see this from the outside, but they actually have three pieces of material within uh, the rubber here. And those three pieces of material, as it clamps onto the string, they will shift slightly, almost in a crude kind of semicircle of three straight lines to adapt to the radius of that specific guitar. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, you, in my experience, playing it on a few different guitars over the years, you get a little bit less risk of buzz because it sort of shifts the shape of, of the point of uh, of sort of attachment to match the radius of the guitar neck. So yeah, like as you can tell, I get really excited about like little bits of gear. These guys are wicked. Yeah, never had to use anything different because it always worked. You know. Well, let's uh, let's have you put that that uh, capo on your uh, on your guitar there, and let's hear you play a little bit more. Sure thing. It's so weird. I haven't played in like what we were saying earlier months. It's like how how, how do you. How do you play guitar? It's wild. So I'm in dad gad tuning right now. Okay, D A D G A D. Capo goes on. I'm going to squeeze it pretty lightly. And it's perfectly in tune. Done. All the way up the neck. Right? No buzz, no problem. Now I can, if I wanted to, squeeze even harder, you know, to make it even more stable. But I, I know how my guitar feels, therefore I learn the exact amount of pressure that I want to apply to it, you know. Um, quick release, push, it's off. You know what I mean? It just yeah. works, man. And it's, it's one of these things that you, you are surprised that no one really thought of that at all. Um, I was mm -hmm. talking to Simon... Uh, at G7th, and he said that they, I think that he, they call it the sort of most uh, important kind of, um, what's the word, uh, creation within the capo world for about 20 years. And it, it's just surprising to me that no one thought of just a quick release, easy clamp kind of design, you know. Um, and since they've done it, I've just used those ever since. And, uh, you know, I work with Justin Hayward from the Moody Blues as well. And uh, and uh, we have loads of those in the workbox and on on that tour. Um, yeah, it's 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 hard to to sort of tell people why they should get something when it's just never been any drama. It almost hasn't required any afterthought because it just does the job. Yeah, great. You know, um, I know you guys have talked about it a lot. And and when I did the rig rundown with you guys, I think I think I had the G sevens on those that tour as well. well. I definitely did, but I think we talked about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Mike, thank you so much for telling us about the new G7th capo, and why don't you uh, play us out with something? All right, well, I guess I should um, put capo a capo on, right? That's right. I'm Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. <laughs>